Hey everybody, hope you're doing alright this fall. I just wanted to uh, show you some video from the Blue River. I was able to get out on the holiday Monday this past week and that would be on Veterans Day. Um, I uh, went up there early in the morning and got there, I don't know, it's about a hundred miles up there from where I live so it took me a little while to get there. I'm not in a big hurry and I stopped and looked at uh, the uh, Texoma Lake as well and uh, looks like that lake's dropping quite a bit right now too so passed up on Texoma went on up to uh, the Blue River and I took a look at the uh, catch and kill area but that's what I call it and it was pretty crowded and I did not know at the time until someone told me that the day before was a trout derby so that's typically crowded as people hang out there for an extra day and try to catch those brooders that they throw in for the derby so I backtracked out of there and went up to the catch and release area and it's a wonderful area and there's only one other person there. Um, I don't even think I caught him in any of this video but the fishing was really good. It was really easy. I'm not going to sugarcoat it or make it sound any harder than it is. It was actually a situation where these fish were obviously freshly stocked because uh, they were really tightly grouped and if you, if you find them in this situation you might as well just keep pounding that spot if that's what you want to do because they're going to be really tightly held until they get climatized to the uh, new surrounding and start to spread out. I know that uh, this other guy that was fishing there with me was uh, catching quite a few fish so a lot of these fish will be a little bit wiser now and the one thing they'll be looking out for is just a simple woolly booger. I was throwing a, a woolly booger that's about a size 12 and has a um, tungsten bead on it so it sinks pretty fast and uh, it really really uh, is an effective way to go tungsten bead woolly booger and black brown or green <laughs> should do the trick and you just want to go low and slow on that perhaps by the time you get there it'll be a little more complicated because the fish might be a little smarter and a little more spread out but I know that uh, the guys from Fort Worth fly fishers are headed that way in a couple weeks so I thought I'd get this out as quick as I could um, if uh, you guys are wondering about any of the other things, this is a one of the new, newer TFO BBK fly rods. This is a three weight, and I believe it's eight six. Performed really well. It might be, you know, the fish up there on the blue at the catch and release are, are significantly larger than the, the ones in the catch and kill area, and they always have been. And um, they're coming from a new, uh, a new stocking place too. They went from stocking place uh, or a, uh, a hatchery in I think it was Missouri to one now in uh, Nebraska. The fish seem a lot smarter. They're, they're, they're still pretty well beat up like a typical stocker is but uh, they seem smarter and they fight a lot harder in my opinion. So you'll have to prove me right or prove me wrong on that one. But anyway I hope you enjoy the video. Um, the rod is Probably, a, like I was about to say, a little bit undergunned for uh, this purpose. You might go to a four weight because um, it took every bit of this rod. I mean, I bent it down to the handle on every single fish. So, anyway, hope you enjoy the, the broadcast here. And if you have any questions, comments, or anything else, just let me know. Thanks for watching. One quick correction that's an eight foot. TFO BVK three weight. So uh, don't go running the store looking for an eight six. Eight feet is perfect for that situation because it uh, gets you in under the trees.